Okay. Hi. So I got Paula, uh, my personal videographer, and all of a sudden the dog is jumping around going crazy. But I wanted to uh, just share, um, we have been doing a Africa Lent study through your version. And I just wanted to get you, give you an idea because I've wanted people to do the U version forever. You won't be able to see it fully, but I'm clicking on the U version app, which has now been downloaded by hundreds of millions of people. But at the bottom, there are these plans. We picked Lent through African eyes. And today we're in the 24th day of Lent. Um, and I just want to read part of this devotional about how God wants to answer our prayers. Jesus returns to his theme of persistence in prayer on the Sermon on the Mount. And this is just what I wanted to read you. Our confidence to approach God is based on our faith in Jesus Christ. We come to God based on our understanding of who he is and what he can do rather than who we are or what we can do. No, it's just it's not up to us. God hears us and is gracious and merciful. Nothing is too hard for him to do. So praying with confidence means trusting God, even though we cannot see him with our eyes or touch him with our hands. And I thought, what an incredible prayer for this time of really one of the most bizarre moments in certainly in my lifetime of people wondering, can God be trusted in all of this? And kind of wondering about uh, kind of all the restrictions in place, worried about whether this virus, COVID-19, is going to spread. But I just would say this. It goes on to say in the devotional, when Christians pray in faith, we are praying to our all-powerful or omnipotent is the word, and our all-present, omnipresent God. So it says, let us approach this great God, believing he's able to give us what we need when we ask in his name and according to his will. So anyway, I just love some of the things it's inviting us to do. But here's the scripture today. Matthew 7 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. And the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. I have always had different thoughts about this, but I just would simply say this. When we ask, you say, you're looking for something. You're asking for a specific answer. But isn't asking and the door being open more about a relationship with the Creator who loves us, with the Jesus who has come to us and cares about what we need? And as we think about what we need, we find out that it's not what we need, it's who we need. We need Him in our lives and in this journey. It goes on to say in Matthew 7, Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, we'll give him a snake. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So, as you think about kind of whatever your needs are, because Paul and I are getting ready to head out to deliver uh, some groceries to a friend who's in quarantine for a few more days, all the weirdness of that is knowing that Jesus Christ is going to be present in every single moment whether in hospital rooms or homes or you young parents whose kids are driving you crazy already, um, God is going to be there present with you at every step of the way. So I hope you're taking advantage of doing some of this, but most of all that you know that your heavenly Father loves you so much that he gave you Jesus the Son, his Son, that he is present with us. There's nothing we can't go through, not one road or journey that Jesus hasn't already been on. So that's my thought for this morning. Not sure what it'll be tomorrow morning, but knowing that God is going to be with you every step of the way. Okay.